In this video, I'll show you how to add radio buttons to your Ionic 5 app. So we have a component named Ion Radio, which is easy to display the radio buttons. So uh, to specify a value, we can use a label. Typical test like uh, I don't know. to display properly I will put all of them an yeah, item so you know it is pleasing to your, your eyes so if I reload it now we can see there is one we can see there is one radio button is there but when I click on it Nothing is selected. So like this you can even add few other radio buttons also. Let me call it as Thanos on Hulk. So we have three radio buttons but nothing is happening. Means it is not checked when I click on it. So to have that functionality and you know to be able to select only one radio button out of the group we can embed all of them in ion radio group component. So if I put a, all of these in ion radio group component and reload it again. now we can see we can select the radio buttons so uh, to know which radio button is selected we can use the property named as value let me put it as i it can be anything it's just a string so i'll just use the first letter of the names i used t value is h then to to get these values to know which value is selected we we'll, can use ng model and specify variable name i'll just call it as value selected And uh, I will add the same to uh, this home.page.ts. It is string. And here we will just display which value is selected. Initially, it is nothing because we pass nothing, so nothing is selected. And I click on Iron Man or Thanos or here nothing is coming is it this I think ah oh, that's just a typo sorry now you can see in in the side here something is just playing let me put it on a H2 so we can see it a bit bigger now you can see the letter here yeah. so uh, ion radio group has a property named ion change which is, which is triggered when there is a change in the value let's call it as value change and I will declare it here I will just display the alert you 
the value selected so if I reload it again you can see whenever we selected one value we are getting alert so few other properties of this ion radio group is we can disable these red buttons if we want actually if you see here uh, Thanos is grayed out so we can't select that anymore we can even select Iron Man or Hulk so one of the change with Ionic 5 is you can't select the default can't check the default option from the component side you, you have to do that in the ts file so if you, if you go to the official documentation in the properties uh, there is no ch check property we have ion change event with you know few other properties but no check properties if you see uh, ionic 3 documentation this is a v3 documentation so here we have a input property as a check which is missing in ionic 5 i don't know why they are doing it like that but that's what we have we have to deal with that so one other workaround for that is we can initialize the value here as let's say as thanos so by default thanos will be selected so if i reload it again you can see by default Thanos is selected and we can change to whatever we want that's it guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoy the video please subscribe for more videos